Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below. Let's get right to it. Now I want to bring you a quick little update on the Centoya Brown case, which I brought you this story a while back here on the Big Ranch Show about a woman who, when she was 16 years old, was picked up as a prostitute by a 43-year-old man named Johnny Allen, who subsequently she ended up shooting at the end of the night and killing. Now, prosecutors said that she was arrested and charged with the crime and everything because she had stolen stuff from his house after the shooting. Prosecutors also made the claim that it was possible that he could have been shot while he was sleeping. Now, according to Centoya Brown, that's not what happened. According to her, they got to the house... He started showing her his firearms and then went into a rage. Became very angry, very aggressive. And at one point in the night, she thought he was reaching for a gun. And so she shot him with the gun she kept in her purse. Claiming that the shooting was self-defense. Now, I don't know. I don't think anybody will ever truly know exactly what happened that night but I do believe 51 years for a crime committed as a child especially if that child was the victim of sex trafficking and being forced into prostitution as a child even as a teenager is still sex trafficking so no do I think she's completely innocent in the case no but here's the update. Governor Bill Haslam of Tennessee granted her clemency. So later this year, she will get out and be on parole for the next 10 years. Part of the agreement to her to get out, she has to be able to maintain a job. And she can't get in any kind of legal trouble at all. According to everything I have read about the, about Centoya Brown, she has changed her life tremendously while behind bars. You know, helped educate herself. Was a good was a good person in prison. And I truly agree with the governor, who said that this was just not the the punishment was just too harsh, considering the situation. Do I think Centoya Brown was innocent? Hell no. Do I think she deserved 51 years for shooting a pervert who was trying to have sex with a 16-year-old? I don't care if he was paying her or not. That's a crime. And then you think about it, too. You got people all across this country who they get, they shoot someone dead. And what's their claim? What do they say? Oh, 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 I feared for my life. No charges brought. Everything's just let go. They don't even investigate it half the time, it doesn't seem. Now, I think times are starting to change a little bit on that. I don't think people are buying it as much anymore. But Centoya Brown, Centoya Brown will go free later this year. And I don't, I don't really see this whole concept of she needs to be locked away and have the key thrown away. I don't see it. Not considering the situation. Not considering the fact that she feared for her life. And considering the fact that she was a teenager. She was a 16 year old child. I think 51 years was insane. At least it's what they said she was going to have to serve. According to the Tennessee Supreme Court. Without even being looked at for parole. And that's just not right. How I see it. She was given two consec or two concurrent life sentences. She took one life. And she was given two. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I know it's how le the legal system works. But it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Especially if she was fighting in self-defense. Now like I said. I don't know if we'll ever know the actual truth behind what happened there. Probably won't. But after 15 years. Centoya Brown will be free. Hopefully, 
she's able to you know keep her keep her keep herself clean not having legal trouble you know be able to hold down a job anyhow this has been the big ranch show i've been your host jacob keck i'll see you down the road